Welcome to Celebrity Home Shopping. I'm your host, Samir, and I'm happy to have me. On today's episode, we're taking a look inside Joe Pesci's recently listed level at New Jersey home. Let's take a look inside. Here's what we love about this house. First of all, this is the exact exterior I'd expect from a Joe Pesci New Jersey waterfront home. Since it's Joe Pesci's, we've got to judge it accordingly, and I'd say it's near perfect. We love the curb appeal. Inside, we love the plain white angled ceramic tile throughout the home. We love these metal blinds. We love this barber's chair by the entrance. I have so many questions about this. Why is it in the entrance? Why is it being used as a picture frame stand? Why is there a doormat here? This being here is one of the most deranged, unhinged, and brain broken things we've ever seen on this show. And because it's Joe Pesci's, we love it. Except if Joe invites you over and asks you to sit in this chair, you better count your blessings because you'll be sleeping with the fishes soon. As you'll see throughout the home, there's so much furniture here for you to love. Wayfair needs to drop their Joe Pesci collection as soon as possible. These pieces would all sell out in a minute. We love the leather chairs in this conversation eating area. P.S. homies, do we like a conversation area? I think so if you have the space. On the plus side, it's better than having to share a couch with someone. But on the negative, you're forced to have a conversation because that's the name of the space. And who wants to talk to people? Not me. Be sure to like or subscribe if you haven't already. And let us know in the comments if you love or hate conversation seating areas. Let's proceed. We love all of the Joe Pesci nostalgia throughout the home, like this director's chair, these photos on the wall, and everything in this room, especially the Lethal Weapon 3 pinball machine. We love the yin-yang of these black and white grand pianos. This is a truly unhinged arrangement going on here. In the den, we love this 42-inch flat screen TV. We love the fabric on this sectional, and we love this Lazy Boy recliner. This is definitely Joe's favorite lump zone. He's probably put thousands of hours on this bad boy. Okay, now I'm going to show you the most brain broken room we've ever seen. Are you ready for it? There's no turning back. Here it is in all its glory. It's perfect. Is this a single slice of sectional? Where did they get this merry-go-round from? Why is there a piece of the bottom of it missing? And why does this vase perfectly fit in that space? Put this room in architectural digest immediately. In the kitchen, we love the mini sauce fridge. We love the double sub-zeros. We love the black double ovens. We love the trash compactor. I wish somebody would make a giant trash compactor and put the last two years in it. We love the dual paper towel holders. My heart is full. I don't think we've ever loved anything as much as these dual paper towel holders. They belong in the MoMA. We love that there's a solid 5 BMS on this side and a 6 BMS on this side. We also love that there's a solid 12 CMS in here. Cannoli measurement system and like a 20 CMS on this side. We love the butler's kitchen. We love these chairs in the eat-in kitchen area. I'm pretty sure this family that I knew in Oklahoma that moved back to Iran in like 1995 had these. We love almost everything about this dining area. We love the carpet. We love the lazy Susan. No relation to our friend Susan that orders string cheese at Starbucks at 6 a.m. in the morning. Which by the way, if you've seen her, please let me know. We're very worried about her. We love the fabric color of the chairs. They match the front door, this fountain, and these planters. Nice job, Joe. Most importantly, we love this gold wedding cake chandelier. As a Persian, we require maximum gold. Can we even call this a chandelier since it's at one with the ceiling? Honestly, I'm pretty impressed because it's the only chandelier kind of thing we found in the home. Everything else is these hi-hats. Upstairs, we love the furniture in this loft area. Added to the Joe Pesci collection. In this bedroom, we love that the bed is in the middle of the room. We love that's in the middle of the room in this one as well. We love this photo of Joe with a dog. Hey. In the main bathroom, we love this old timey scale. This is probably my most favorite artifact from any home we've ever reviewed. Outside, we love the double balconies. We love the size of the deck. And finally, we love the deep water dock. The deeper the dock, the better. It's perfect for dumping bodies. I mean diving. Here's what we hate about this house. We hate how long the front gate is. It's going to take longer than watching the Irishman for this thing to open. We hate the giant Christmas tree out front. If you recall, Joe has a bad history with Christmas trees. Someone call Rockefeller Center and see if they could use an extra one this year. Inside, we hate the way the stairs are. They should be twisted around facing the entrance. 
We hate this kind of light switch. You never remember which button does what, so you end up smashing them all every time. In the kitchen, we hate these above-mounted sinks. We hate how close this lighting is to the wall. And since Joe is a short king, we hate how high this cabinet is, this one, these, and we hate these wine racks. I'd love to see Joe standing on a step stool just to get a bottle of 2019 Yellowtail from up here. In the dining room, we hate that this air conditioning register is in parallel to the wall. This is the kind of thing that's going to keep me up at night. In this bedroom, we hate this ductless system. For six and a half million, we need proper heat and AC. In the backyard, we hate how close the pool is to the home. Unless they put it back here so they could dive off the balcony into the pool. We hate that this area is lower than the rest of the deck. And finally, we hate that there's no fence. The homies really value safety, and this just isn't doing it for us. This home, because it's Joe Pesci's, ranked a coveted 5 out of 5 on the homies home ranking scale. As always, welcome to the Stats After Show, where we take a deeper dive into the stats. Let's talk about the rating. Any other owner of a home like this wouldn't have ranked so high, but since it's Joe Pesci's, it did. Everything about it was perfect. It's currently under contract, and I really hope the new owners keep it as is and maybe even turn it into a Joe Pesci museum. It's located on the Jersey Shore, which I've never been to, but I hope to visit someday. Pretty large home, though. Looks like I'll make a decent profit. Oh yeah, if you are buying this home, please have me over if you plan on making any changes because I'd love to see it in all its glory. Wikipedia says he's retired, which I don't know, can you really ever retire from acting? As always, let us know what you rated the home as well as what you loved and hated about it in the comments. I'd love to give a super special shout out to our Patreon iced coffee supporters. That's patreon.com slash Samir. With your support, I could be a winner and have a $5 iced coffee every day, so thank you. And an extra special shout out to our Patreon Plus producers at Spencer, Zachary, Melissa, Dan, Teddy, Megan, Lauren, Henry Gretchen, Julie, Barav, Ellen, Paul, Alyssa, Anne, Colin, Mike, and Emmy. Thank you all so much. And here are our lovely Patreon producers. Give them a round of applause. You think I'm funny?